hey, come here. I don't want to be covering this any longer because I can't stand this dude, but here we go. Jeff Bezos, Project Kuiper, and Amazon recently just protested Starlink's FCC licensing that it needs to launch the Gen 2 satellites and push 30,000 more of them into lower orbit. But as with all things Bezos and his paper writing, pencil pushing ways now, is it really about that? I don't think so. Let's go. <music> Last week, Amazon, Project Kuiper, and of course, Jeff Bezos filed a protest with the FCC in regards to Starlink's licensing that it needs to launch the Gen 2 satellites. On one hand, this is a clear attempt again by Bezos and Cam to delay Starlink process so that it gives them a chance to catch up. But on the other, I kind of agree with them. Their main beef, that Starlink and SpaceX filed with their licensing two systems underneath one licensing. Now I agree because it clearly says in the FCC bylaws that you have to have a license per system. But is what SpaceX and Starlink pushing actually two systems? I suspect it's about something much bigger. And by bigger, I mean lots bigger. Amazon claims in the protest, the proposal breaks the regulatory rules on satellite deployment, specifically that Starlink's upgrade proposal includes two possible configurations for the Starlink Gen 2 system satellites which Amazon views as a violation, as FCC framework requires an application for each individual system. Project Kuiper protests that SpaceX is trying to pass two systems under one license and feature the application. SpaceX contends that the secondary system is only backup in case the first one fails. What is known is that the new satellite will be bigger, more powerful, and communicate via laser technology, unlike Gen 1s. What does this mean? Well, it means that Starlink will need to use less ground stations to communicate to the constellation. Instructions can be passed from satellite to satellite via laser communications instead of relying on ground stations for data sets. This also means communications can increase, and as promised from Elon himself, lower latency and blazing fast speeds in the very near future. According to Amazon, relaxing the rules risks encouraging SpaceX and other companies to seek clearance for speculative applications that try to lock in access for various satellite configurations. Other prospective licensees will surely see the benefit in maximizing their optionality by describing multiple configurations in their one license application, Amazon adds. The commission must guard against the outcome by insisting that SpaceX adhere to the well-settled framework under part 25, namely that the licensees submit an application for a single system. Along with this license comes the ability for Starlink to launch 30,000 more powerful satellites into orbit once the license is granted to SpaceX to launch. Come on, man, you know I'm not stopping there. I wanted to dig in a bit further as to why Bezos continues to do this. Sure, the obvious is that he doesn't want these Gen 2 awesome, massive, more powerful laser communication to each other network be upgraded and to fly before he does. And he certainly doesn't want 30,000 more. But it's not too clear if this is really the reason, because he didn't really address any of the tech issues or the 30,000. He addressed these two multiple systems. And upon digging in on the license, I found some cool things. First, in the filing, I saw a new orbital plane that would allow SpaceX and Starlink to not have to park their satellites and to put them in a better position to deploy them faster to their final destinations. But how would they do that? In one really big way that I think is a reason Bezos isn't too happy about this. Starship. Amending Starlink's altitudes and constellation design would also allow SpaceX to launch the satellites directly into intended orbits with Starship, SpaceX said. The company's leadership has previously touted the increased capability Starship would bring. Its Falcon 9 rocket can launch 60 Starlink satellites at a time, but Starship would be able to take that to 400 at a time. SpaceX President Gwen Shotwell said in 2019, 
the revised orbital planes would enable single plane launch campaigns that capitalize on the ability of Starship to deliver satellites at a faster pace by not necessarily requiring a waiting period for orbital precession in a parking orbit. SpaceX could deploy their satellites into their operational orbits with a matter of weeks after launch, rather than months, the company added. Starship has to be the primary vehicle to deliver spacecraft to orbit, SpaceX mentions. Musk later said in a tweet that Starship should be ready for flight within weeks, pending on regulatory approval to launch. So to me, it's much more clear than most reports have it. This isn't about Bezos and Amazon and Project Kuiper being angry necessarily about these awesome satellites. It has everything to do with the fact that this is about the Starship launch. You see, those two configurations and those two systems that Amazon's complaining about is an Alpha and a Bravo. That Alpha rests upon a rocket that they've already used, the Falcon. The Bravo backup is actually using Starship for this launch to launch the Generation 2s into orbit. Now that does two things if they use Starship. It gets them to a different orbital plane, which is included in the FCC licensing, which would allow satellites to move to their final destination much quicker. The second is that they can launch not just 60 like they can now. On the Starship, they can launch 400. Now I agree, the FCC shouldn't allow companies to feature stuff or include a bunch of alternative systems that aren't proven under one licensing. However, the system itself is the Gen 2 satellites. This has nothing to do with how it gets there. Although it needs to be there, whether or not it's pushed with a Falcon or a Starlink should not make a difference. That's not a second system. The system is the one that will live on, and that is the Gen 2 satellites. This is just another desperate attempt by Bezos to stifle progress in space and to prevent his competitors from outpacing him because he's too busy on his boat. I think Elon Musk put it best in his tweet last week when he said, apparently Jeff Bezos has retired in order to pursue a full-time career suing SpaceX. I couldn't agree more. Until next time, I'm Hill Phantom. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Reminding you, always send it. Let's go.